All right, folks, welcome. Get settled in. We got game number one. It's the Diplomats taking on the Riptide. It's not a secret game. Sorry, Superfan Ron in the chat. I see you down there. Uh, and we're underway from Shields Arena. Face off from center. Malloy handles into the offensive end. Winds and fires. Tied up on the shot a bit. It bounces harmlessly into the corner. Both teams battling for their boy. All right, puts a shot on from the point. Around the boards it goes. Host will play it low for Marty Sievertson. He collects and sets up here. Works it up to Haas. No icing, says the official tips. Slet might outrun this anyway. Bjorralt cutting down the angle, trying to get it out anyway. Finally able to work it free to Petersburg. Hustling in off the player bench area. Petersburg out of the corner, centering, but no friendly sticks there. Schuler takes this one away, drives the net, floats it forward for Petersburg, tries to get it on net, but it's blocked by Baumgartner. Good defensive play there. Kiefer has it now from the point, walks in. It's a shot on, he scores. There's Ben Kiefer with the first goal of the night. That one's going to go to the rip tie. That's going to come at 14.03 here in period one. A first period that is brought to you by Fargo Nerd Night. It's like a TED Talk with beer. Three speakers present whatever they nerd out about while the audience drinks along. Check them out on April 18th at 7 p.m. in the cellar below the front street tap room or at fargo.nerdnight.com. That's nerdnight, N I T E.com. Be there or be square. There's a shot from James Floyd. Heck, I can't even finish reading the promo before they're back into the back of the net. So, all tied up at one, courtesy of James Floyd. Time of the goal on that one, 13:54. A lot of excitement so far on this one, folks. But I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be real with you for a moment. I gotta tell you, I gotta get something off my chest up here in the booth. Today is our audiovisual producer Mark. It's his birthday, so he's having a birthday today. He's like uh, a million years old or something. I don't know. I gotta check with the stats guys to figure out what it is. It's some kind of number, but at any rate, we got uh, cupcakes up here in the booth. So uh, first, I don't know, 20 fans or something. I don't know how many cupcakes I got left, but I'm going to eat like half of them. I already had like 10, and that's why I got the sugar rush going. You can probably tell a little bit, but anyway, it's not important. So stop by in the booth, say hi to Mark, wish him a happy birthday, come have a cupcake before I have to eat them all. Out of the corner now, it's freed up by Gilbert. Tries to get it rink-wide, Steinbach, but it's taken down by Oaks at center. Back in for Gilbert, into the offensive end. He delays away from pressure, waits for some teammates. Gets one towards the net. Blocked out front, though, by Wheeland. Well, he looks tired out there already on the ice, that Jaden Wheeland. Kari recovers from center ice, gets it to Malloy. Malloy, a little area pass, tries to find Kari, racing for it, and a goff out with a big poke check. Knocks that out of harm's way. Here's a puck back through center. Host tracks it down out of the corner here. Floats one towards the net. It's blocked by Malloy, though. Into the near corner it goes. Both teams battling for it there. Petersburg works it free off the boards to center, where Whelan chases it down. Off for Sievertson. 12 and a half still to go here. Period number one. Puck rattled all the way around the boards. Grumpy number 95. Yeah, it's uh, Mark. Mark with a K on the birthday there. So... Uh, if you don't, if you don't have the, you, know, you can't make it to the booth to pick up a cupcake, you know, throw him a happy birthday in the chat there. Then uh, he can read it here, and then I will, I'll make you this deal with you, YouTube audience. For every happy birthday you send in the chat, I will eat at least one cupcake. Diplomats work it back to center, taken away though by Kiefer near the player bench area, trying to get it. Into the offensive end, it works its way off his stick. He recovers below the end red line. Spinning towards the net, finally swept away by Wheeland. Wheeland forward for Slet. He works his way in. A little move there at the blue line. Spinning, trying to get it back off the tape of Wheeland. Gosh, he looks tired out there. Just gassed already, Jaden Wheeland. Puck dumped in. Shot on. Goff with a save. Loose out front. Schuler is shot, but it's blocked by Baumgartner. Great defensive play there, Max Baumgartner, to get in the way of that one. Siebertson out of the near corner. Laid down low all the way around. Floyd has it, forces it to center. No, it's blocked at the blue line. Now back to center. Floyd 
Trying to get through a couple teal jerseys, but not able to do it. I don't know, is that really teal? Maybe a powder blue, I guess, would be a more powder blue. Somebody, if you're watching from the paint sample aisle in Home Depot, find me the closest color that you can to the uh, Riptide jerseys. See what you... Holy cow, Grumpy95. I got four happy birthdays for Mark in the chat. I'm going to smash four cupcakes as soon as possible. There's Malloy out of the corner, trying to get it towards the net, but blocked by Sievertson. Gilbert comes away with it. His shot tangled up. It bounces over the net into the near corner. Oaks tries to play it to center. Take it away, though, by Gilbert. Floyd stepping in to support. He'll knock that forward. Olsen, but now it's dumped back in by the Riptide. Diplomats will set up here. Back to center for Kruger. The other direction, go the Riptide. Gilbert in. He'll play it off the boards and around. They'll use that as an opportunity to uh, change some lines, get some fresh skaters on the ice. Kari into the offensive end now. Down low. Looks to get it out front. A good play by Troy Cornett. Breaks that up. A shot through traffic. Hits off the inboards. I think I heard it clunk off a shin pad or something. Wheeland has it out of the corner now. Looks to set up here. He finds Kruger at center. Oh, excuse me. That's Cole Haas. He'll dump it in. Chasing it down. Tyler Kari behind his own net. He'll play it up the boards. A little give and go. Steinbach back for Kari. He's got Schuler on the near wing. It's a two-on-two. -two. Little pass for Schuler here. He fires. Big save by Goff. Puck into the near corner now. Flicked up to center by Oaks. Whelan gloves it down and enters the offensive zone. Whelan puts a shot on through a pair of skates, but Neeson with a big save there keeps this tied at one. 8.38 still to go here, period number one. No icing, says the official. Goff will tee it up here for Baumgartner. Max sets up, plays it up the boards for Kruger. Tipped to center. Bjorald has it. He'll put one into the diplomat zone. Goff out to at least knock it down out of the corner. Both teams battling for it here. Baumgartner able to come away with it though. Good play there by the Diplomats defense. Floyd through center, chips off the board into himself. It's an odd man rush. Floyd with Kruger. Floyd a drive, he scores! James Floyd off the far wing, just rips a laser of a shot. And that's gonna be two goals now for Floyd. Two for the Diplomats and one for the Riptide. Time of the goal, 8.06. And that break in the action is bought to you by this next cupcake that I'm about to house. Ah, sorry, the package is still wrapped here. It's, ah, it's got like tape on it or something. I wish I had scissors up here. Ah, play back to center. Petersburg has it into the offensive end. Put the shot on, it's off the post! Petersburg almost tying this one. A wraparound opportunity, but that one slings through the crease. Sent into the near far corner. Played to the blue line, not out though. Sievertson and Schuler trying to free it up. Neither one can come away with a clear advantage. Schuler works it free, but Baumgartner able to get on it and play it ahead for Sievertson. Now off for Kruger at center. Marcus Kruger in. He puts a shot on. Rebound loose. Kruger a back in. Another save by Neeson. And he'll get the glove on that for a whistle. What an effort there by Chris Neeson. So that'll get us a whistle and a faceoff and a cupcake. 7-14 still to go here. Period number one. Oh, they're good. They're like chocolate, um, but they got the sprinkles in them too, like the, and not the generic round. I don't know what you call them, the round sprinkles, the ones that are. But they're like fun shapes. They got like star shapes and things, and I don't know. 
They were real good. Hunt in a shot by Gilbert off the pipe. That one's wide into the corner. Gilbert trying to track it down. He's watched closely by Oaks. From behind the net, Gilbert spins, fires. Hunt recovers a rebound, trying to get it up front. Siebertson able to break it up with an active stick. To the point now, Kiefer tries to play it down low. He's able to slide it past Oaks. Out of the corner now, Floyd tangling up, trying to work it free. Oaks almost able to get a stick on it. Back to the point, Steinbach now a drive. Josh Steinbach in right into the glove of Rob Goff. No doubt about that one. So that'll bring us a face-off back in the Diplomat Zone. 6.29 still to go here, period number one. Face-off is away. Bureau D to D for Malloy. He spins and wraps one towards the net. It takes a couple bounces into the corner. Hunt right on that. Gilbert with a tip out front, but it's through the crease into the far corner. Gilbert hustles after this one. Centering right out front. Tyler Curry. Oh, and he can't quite pull it to the backhand. He'll play it around the boards for Bjorolt. Bjorolt works it down low for Curry. Gwinnett lifting a stick. He'll get it. Uh, he'll have possession for a moment, but taken away by the riptide. Wheeland finally able to come up with it and lead a breakout. To Slett on the near wing into the offensive end towards the net. Swatted away by Malloy. A shot from a tricky angle ends up off the post and behind the goal line. Kari trying to free it up at the point. Oaks able to hold. He'll float it deep into the zone. Malloy out of the corner will dig it out, move forward. He'll work to center, pestered by Wheeland. Malloy all the way in. Wheeland trying to free up a puck. Centering pass for Kari, broken up. Slett comes away with this one, floats it ahead for Oaks, but he won't quite be able to catch it, or will he? Oaks into the offensive end. Slett trailing. Oaks from behind the net. Looks to get it out front, but just out of the reach of any friendly sticks. Schuler in now. Haast back defensively. Quinette catching up. Good play by Haas to break that up. He moves it forward now for Slett. Intercepted by Petersburg. Petersburg with a lane. He shoots. Rebound loose. Goff down. Buck still loose. And he's able to get a blocker on it for a whistle. Boy, is there anything that Rob Goff guy can't do? Faceoff coming up now out of the Diplomat Zone with 541 still to go here. First period. Rebound loose out front. Everybody swatting at it. Ice score. Not sure who got the final stick on it, but there was a, a number of powder blue jerseys there in front of the net, and they tie this one up at two. Time of the goal, 444. To center, Riptide control, Petersburg into the offensive zone. He put the shot on, blocker save Goff off the end glass. Petersburg trying to center with a nifty little backhanded pass. They get it to the slot, they get a shot away, but Goff able to knock it down for a whistle. Face off coming up here with 424, still to go, period number one. Faceoff is away. Riptide trying to work it towards the net. It bounces off a stick into the far corner. Fievertson looking to find Floyd at center, but Kiefer reads the pass and was able to knock it away. Petersburg into the offensive end. Tries to get a shot away. Tied up by Floyd, though. It bounces harmlessly into the far corner. Marty Siebertson plays up for Olsen. Olsen tries to get it out for Floyd, but Malloy intercepts. Puts a shot on Glove down by Goff. That's a fairly routine save for your goaltender. If he can see the shot all the way from the blue line, it's uh, one that's right into the glove. So face-off coming up here with 3.53 still to go, period one. It'll be Gilbert and Wheeland. Wheeland wins it for the Diplomats. Poked ahead, turned over, though, for Hunt. 
Riptide have it out of the corner now. Hunt spinning, calling for it is Gilbert, putting a, or Bjoralt rather, and that one bounces up into the safety netting for a whistle. So Bjoralt with a drive from the slot, I think that could be a heck of a good play too, where you got uh, you got somebody behind the net, you got possession, and you your uh, defenseman can jump into the play and get him the puck. Uncontested in the slot area, there's one from the point, takes a deflection off of something, a stick I think, and ends up into the safety netting another time for another whistle and oh no I'm being told no cupcake I feel like a dog now like sometimes I get cupcakes sometimes I don't face off is away diplomats control played up the boards let gets to this one hunt down the block and a tip from Whelan but a big save by Neeson Boy, that was a heck of a deflection there uh, from the sideboards. Slet put a good pass up front for Whelan. Whelan had a good tip right on net, but Neeson able to get a save out of it. 325 as we get set for a face-off in the riptide end. Malloy has this one. He'll wrap it around the boards looking for Hunt. It takes a tough bounce off one of the glass panels. Gilbert frees it up. That's center. Both teams battling back and forth for it. Bjoralt has this one. D to D now for Malloy. Malloy back for Bjoralt. Stolen by Whelan. Whelan to shoot these scores! Jaden Whelan. So he looks tired out there, but he's not completely gassed. Able to at least have enough energy to you know, steal the puck and get the shot away. Probably if he had more cupcakes, he'd have more energy for uh, whatever, because... Yeah, maybe we can get him some in between the period somehow. Anyway, faceoff is away from center. Host has it. Floyd calling for a pass. That one tipped ahead and forward. That'll be an icing call. So that'll take the faceoff all the way back down to the Diplomats' end. 2.59, the time of the icing. And... It is, of course, brought to you by none other than Urban Toad Media. From business cards to billboards, headshots, commercial, and product photography, Urban Toad Media produces quality marketing materials that reflect the high standards of your business. Make a statement with professional graphic design and photography from Urban Toad Media. Visit UrbanToadMedia.com. Hunt <laughs> tries to play it off the boards. An unfortunate bounce off the official. Turned back the other way at center. Oaks into the offensive end. Watched by Leisering. His shots. Ooh, boy. Hard shot, but uh, over the net. Host has it at the blue line. Has to spin to get away from pressure. It's pushed all the way into the zone. Slung around the boards by Kiefer. Kruger steps up to hold. Gets it ahead for Floyd out of the corner here. Floyd is trying to center. No one there. Oaks from the point. He'll get a shot on, but it's just a bit wide. Rebound loose. Floyd hammering at it to try and get it in. Puck out of the corner here. Slets right out front. Floyd, and that'll be a slew foot. They'll take Keeper to the box for that. That's one of those things that's on the list of things that you can't do, and uh, it'll result in a penalty. It'll be a Diplomat's power play for the next minute and 30. 201, the time of the penalty. Of course, Diplomat's, I guess, already up by one, so power play goal is substantial, is meaningful here. Uh, likewise, a penalty kill uh, builds a lot of momentum, too. At any rate, underway again. Play out of the corner. Both teams tangling up for it, trying to free it up. It leaks away to the point, and uh, just into the gap, it'll trickle all the way through center. Diplomats will have to regroup here. Question from Grumpy95. Uh, Adam, do you think you'll be able to skate after all those cupcakes? Ha! As though I could skate to begin with. That's Kind of you, sir. Puck out of the far corner. Siebertson has it. He'll go back to Oak, or excuse me, Slet rather, out of the corner. He surveys, looks to set something up. Down low, Baumgartner right out front. Oh, and no one can get a stick on it. A good puck movement opportunity there for the Diplomats. Riptide gain control of this, and it all the way down. 40 seconds left on the penalty. 108 to go in the period. Turnover right up front. A shot from Schuler. He scores! Oh, boy, I think you call that the Jaden Whelan play or something, where you just steal the puck, and then you shoot it, and then you score. And 
Oh boy, that's a shorthanded goal. Uh, that's gonna tie things up here. I didn't see that in my crystal ball of things that might happen on this power play, so. Oh boy, we got a brand new hockey game here. All tied up at three. 33 seconds left on the penalty to Kiefer. 102 in the period. Malloy has it here. He's chased by Haast. Whelan steps in to try and free up a puck, but Petersburg gains possession, sends it all the way down. Goff out to get it. He'll play it into the corner. Whelan digs it off the wall there. 14 seconds left on the penalty. Oaks into the offensive zone. Puts a shot on. Again, hard, but again, high over the net. From the point, Haast into a skate, and Petersburg through center, one defender back. Petersburg in, puts a shot on, big save from Goff. I think he got it with the glove to knock it down. Centering pass there, taken away by Wheeland off the boards. No, Schuler has it. Tries to go back to the slot, but Baumgartner able to work it to center. We're back to five aside with 17 seconds left in period number one. Baumgartner floats one right through the crease. Schuler to the point, it hops over Kruger's stick. And then it'll roll all the way down. Six seconds left. Ost has it out of his own end here. He'll float it back to center, but that should just about do it for period number one. So, so far through one, we are all tied up at three. But uh, don't worry, folks. We're going to be back with uh, a second period right after at least three cupcakes. We'll see you then. Stay tuned. It's FMA Hockey. That one's got like a lot of sprinkles on it. I don't know what the regulation amount of sprinkles is or whatever. If you try and get an even coating on the each cupcake the same or whatever, but I was I was trying to scramble to get number three in before the break. I, I should level with you guys too because you can, nobody can see the they're like the the two bite cupcakes or whatever. I'm not Martha Stewart. I didn't make cupcakes or anything myself. These are they're the tiny little two bite cupcakes from. Uh, a local grocery store, not a sponsor of the channel, so I can't I can't name them on air. Uh, but they're not like a, a full size adult cupcake, which is why I can have like as many as I want. I think the serving size is unlimited. Petersburg in the offensive end tries to get it through a couple diplomat sticks. Back to center, fired right back the other direction. Lloyd surveys, sets up here, fires a laser of a pass down, and Kruger can't. Knock it down, so that'll go for an icing, and that'll give us a chance to tell you about Urban Toad Media. From business cards to billboards, headshots, commercial, and product photography, Urban Toad Media produces quality marketing materials that reflect the high standards of your business. Make a statement with professional graphic design and photography from Urban Toad Media. Visit urbantoadmedia.com. 14-19, still to go here. Face off away. Malloy has it. He sets up. He shoots. And a stick save from Goff sends that into the safety netting. So we'll do it again. Another face off coming up here out of the diplomat zone. Face off is away. Oaks has it. Sets up behind his own net. He's got some time. He's got some space. He'll fire it to center. Flagged down by Malloy, though. That's a 
Uh, some kind of ninja move there. Malloy puts a shot on. Goff out big with the shoulder to knock that one down. Oaks trying to free it up behind his own net. Works through center, finds Cornette, or excuse me, Floyd on an angle. Nice pass there. And sent right through the crease by Floyd. Oaks recovers, spins, and gets it towards the net. Tipped out front by Slett, but just wide. Now out of the far corner from the point, Cornette steps up, but taken away by the Riptide through center. Gilbert has this one. Gilbert in, trying to find Hunt. He does a big bad save with the toe from Goff. Oh, he got all the way across the crease and kicked that out with the toe. Back through center, Floyd, or, or excuse me, Olsen works into the offensive end for the Diplomats. It's a shot on. Mason knocks it away with the glove. Centering by Whelan. A couple swats on it there out front by Haas, but not able to find the back of the net. At least the center and the Diplomats will dump it right back in. Use that opportunity for a line change. Down to 13 minutes here, period number two. Ahead for Steinbach. Swatted off his stick. Turned over, though, by the other Steinbach. Josh puts a shot on into the near corner after a save from Goff. To the blue line, held by Leisring. Finally swatted back out by Whelan. Kruger in with speed. He's got Haas with Kruger. Oh, boy, that's just a bit outside. Puck off the far boards. Played around now by Kari. Leisring chases it down. Flicks it to center, looking for Petersburg, but a glove taps that down, and Gloved back down the other way by Petersburg. A shot here from Bjorl to save from Goff. Puck loose and Goff stretches to deny the rebound. Another shot. That one's blocked out front. Out of the corner now. Petersburg frees it up. Gets it to the point. Schuler. Schuler takes a look. Shoots. He scores. Oh, that hit off something. A skate of someone. Maybe even a diplomat. It's hard to, hard to say for certain. At any rate, deflected in, and that'll be a Riptide goal. That's four for them now. They lead by one. Riptide four, Diplomats three. Time of the goal, 12.06 in period number two. Faceoff is away. Diplomats control through center. Dumped all the way down. Behind the net, both teams battling for it there. They're jostling to free it up. To the point, held in by Sievertson. Gets a shot on looking for a tip or something out front that bounces wide. There's another shot bouncing wide. Another shot on it, a big save by Neeson. That one into the corner. One gloved down here by Burel. Played off the glass and out by Schuler. Back through center. Oh boy, Phil, we got three fans here in the booth high fiving Mark and getting cupcakes and all kinds of stuff. It's just awesome. There's enough sugar to go around. Right out front. Oh, a sprawling Goffey gets a glove on that one. Oh, an opportunity there with the rebound, but uh, good job by the diplomats to you know, make sure they keep their defenders planted in the crease and Goff able to get the glove. Glove on that one. 11.04, still to go here, period number two. Out of the corner, Oaks has it, tangling up with Kiefer. Puck played below the goal line, swatted her way. Back through center now, Oaks recovers. Up ice into the offensive end now. Weaving, trying to get through a stick lift out of the corner. Oh, centers. Uh, Olsen finds it. He puts a shot on. Oh, just a bit wide. Hard shot with traffic out front, but just a bit wide. Might have been deflected. At any rate, puck slung back into the diplomat zone. Hunt will race and beat out the icing. Keeper controls. Steinbach, there's Gilbert rather, setting out up front a tip, and that one ended up just wide. I think Goff might have got a piece of it before it careened into the corner. Gilbert here plays forward for Kiefer. Kiefer looking rink wide for Hunt. Hunt the shot, he scores! There's Hunt with a goal, and that's going to extend the Riptide lead to two. It's going to make a Riptide five, but Diplomats three. And I'm being told in the booth they've 
taken the cupcakes away from me and moved them beyond arm's reach. What they don't know is I have a second box of cupcakes ready to go next to me. They thought they, they were gonna, they thought they were, I heard the words, save him from himself. And I have an emergency box of cupcakes here, just ready to go. Face off is away, 10 4 remaining in the period. And Gilbert, too, I think he took one off the nose there. We'll get a delayed call for a high stick. Eyes a little bit watery, but from what I can see from up here, he looks as handsome as when he started the game, so no apparent damage done. That's always fortunate to see. Nothing a cupcake won't fix. But it will put the Riptide on the power play for the next minute and 30 for the high sticking infraction. Time of the penalty, 9.58 here, period number two. It'll be Wheeland on the draw with Petersburg for the Riptide. Petersburg wins it. The Flint Bioralts works it down. Steinbach tries the center. Quinette able to block it. Wheeland recovers and he'll send that all the way down. Neeson and it goes down to knock that one away. Malloy will set up here with 115 left on the penalty. Rink wide, he finds Schuler. Schuler back for Bioral. Bioral to head. Steinbach. Steinbach with some speed into the offensive end. Steinbach puts a shot on it. It's blocked, though, by Quinnett. Good defensive positioning there to break that up. A centering pass, but no powder blue jerseys there to pick it up. Malloy recovers at the blue line. A shot blocked out front by Quinnett up into the end glass. Recovered by Steinbach. Works it across. Siebertson gloves down the pass, though, and he'll send that all the way down the ice. Swatted away to the corner by Neeson. He'll, heck, why not? Go out and grab that one. 37 left on the penalty. 9.03 still to go in the period. Played rink wide. Malloy will tip it into the zone and go off for a change. That allows Siebertson to control. He'll send that all the way down. Or run some more time off on the penalty. Tyler Kari back to get it. He'll sling it around the boards here. 18 seconds left on the man advantage for the Riptide. So Kari here through center. Here come the Riptide offensive zone. Kari sets up, drops for Schuler. Schuler plays back for Kari centering, but broken up by Floyd. A good play there. Sent all the way down by Wheeland, and that's going to do it for the penalty. We're back to five aside. Meisering sets up out of his own end, sends it to center. Schuler here. He'll work away from pressure. He'll give it off for Kari. Kari back for Schuler. Off an angle, Oaks able to pull it away. A little stick move there, and Oaks into the offensive end now for the Diplomat. Shot on, save Neeson. Leisering able to swap that one away. Kruger able to come away with it. To the point, a shot on from Baumgartner is tipped and deflected up into outer space. I don't know how high that went. Certainly way up. I don't think it touched the ceiling or anything. It did hit the safety netting before returning back to earth. Anyway, faceoff coming up with 7.58 still to go here, period two. A shot off the draw right through, right across the bow of Neeson, but harmlessly into the corner. Slept now, rink wide, finds Baumgartner at the point with some space. Baumgartner takes a look, he'll play it down low for Floyd. Floyd working after it, trying to get towards the net, but three powder blue jerseys there to stop that one. They will have to float at the center though. Hunt chases it down. Siebertson trying to break it up. Baumgartner able to come away with a loose puck to the blue line, not out. Finally Kruger able to tap it out. Malloy recovers at center though and he'll send it back the other way. Malloy trying to get it for Bureau to pass. Doesn't quite work out how they intended it. Malloy comes away with this one though. Finds Steinbach at the far blue line. Knocked out of the air by Baumgartner. Good defensive play there. Oaks will set up behind his own net. A nifty little move there by Oaks. Evades one four checker. He gets it up and ahead for Kruger. No icing, says the official. Uh, tipped or someone had a chance to play it on the way in. Kruger weaving. He comes away with this one. He scores! Oh, Marcus Kruger. Uh, what an effort there to free up a puck and make a little stick move and then uh, shoot and then... Uh, Get the puck into the back of the net and uh, bring your team to within one goal. And speaking of things being within things, I'm within one cupcake of my limit, I think. Thanks, Devin Wahlberg, for the happy birthday notice. 
Faceoff is away. Riptide control. Center now. Turned over. Freed up back the other direction. Uh, Riptide will have to regroup at center. Shot on, saved by Neeson, rebound loose, poked away back to center. Kari marches into the offensive zone, watched closely by Oaks to the point. Looks for Kiefer, Kiefer a shot through some traffic, it bounces off the end boards. Malloy towards the net, uh, shot there by Kari, another shot by Steinbach, a big sprawling save by Goff, he knocks another one down. Puck loose off the near boards. Wheeland able to come away with it. Gosh, she looks tired skating through center. Wheeland puts a shot on a toe save from Neeson, and the puck rattles away to the corner. Here's Steinbach with some speed through center. Finds Gilbert. Two on two. Gilbert working the puck back for Steinbach. Haas able to break it up at least a little bit. Turned back the other way. Wheeland. 5.30 as we head back through neutral ice. Wheeland gets a shot on. Blocked out front. Bjorolt able to send it through center. A two-on-one here for the Riptide. It's Petersburg off for Schuler. Schuler drive a big sprawling save by Goff. He stacked the pads. What an effort from your goaltender. Holy cow. Baumgartner's got it now behind his own net. Play hard off the boards. Angled away. Icing says the official, but that's going to end up on net. So Neeson forced to play it. Leisering behind his net, pressured by Slett. Leisering will have to play it off the boards to escape the pressure. Up for Schuler. now for Petersburg. Petersburg offensive end, put the shot on, and Goff pins that against his jersey for another whistle. Faceoff coming up here with 4.46 still to go here, period number two. And all these goals, but only a one goal difference here in this one. Riptide five, Diplomats four. This up is away. It's one to the point. Bjoralt, a shot. Going right across the crease off the end boards. Floyd tracks it down. Floats it ahead for Slett, but it's out of his reach. Riptide play it right back the other way. No icing, says the official. It bounced over at least a couple sticks. To the point, it bounces off a skate. Bjoralt tries to hold it in. Baumgartner working. Bjoralt working. Neither one able to come away with it cleanly. Finally, it's poked off Schuler's stick to the point. Kari steps up a shot. Ooh, Slett with a block there. It looks like it stings a little bit. Off the back door, Goff, a big save, marching towards the net, puck loose, and Goff getting a glove on that one, and we'll get a penalty here. I'm not sure if I saw what it was. We'll wait for the call from the official. Looks like they're taking Schuler to the box. Officials chatting with the scorekeeper. They're reminding Schuler to go into the correct team's penalty box. All the numbers and all the things. I don't know that I saw an indication on what the penalty was. At any rate, we get set for a Diplomats power play. Faceoff is away. Floyd a drive. Blocked, though. Steinbach tries to free it up. It's Petersburg taking it away. Petersburg in shorthanded. He shoots another toe save from Goff. Oh, big effort there from the Diplomats netminder. And yeah, Devin Wahlberg, I, I hear you in the chat. A uh, heck of a stick tack on that earlier save where Goff stacked the pads. I think I think the really the only thing to do is to celebrate that with another cupcake. Uh, why not? I don't know what the serving size is on these. They're, they're, they're just little tiny ones. They probably don't even, yeah, you can, a ton is what I'm being told. I don't know if that's metric or standard, but at any rate, back to live action. 350, Malloy recovers the puck. He'll send it down to run some time off the penalty. 107 still to go. Goff out to set this one up. He'll sweep it to the far corner for Cornette. Cornette evading one stick through center into the offensive end. The drop for Whelan. Whelan takes a look. He fires, and Neeson with a save on that one. He'll squeeze the old penalty to penalty. Blah, 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 blah. He'll squeeze the, what do they wear on that hand? A glove? He'll squeeze the glove and uh, get a whistle. So, face off coming up here. 52 seconds left on the penalty. 
32 in the period. Face off is away, taken by Kari, plays it off the glass, takes a weird bounce. Oaks able to pinch at the point to keep it in. A bounce off Hunt's skate. Again, swatted down. Oaks a shot, a save by Neeson. Oh, good job with a the blocker there. Oaks now to the point. Wheeland, Wheeland with some space. He sets up, back down low for Oaks. Oaks sets up. He puts a shot on. Oh, good job. Holy cow, that'll, that'll ring your bell, that shot right onto the uh, whistle. And it uh, looks like that'll, uh, what do you call it, knock a strap loose or do some kind of something. The, uh, the official senses it and will call a timeout to adjust that equipment, make sure everything's buckled properly and all those things. And it'll keep the face off in the riptide zone. 22 seconds left on the power play for the diplomats. Faceoff is away. It's one of the points for Baumgartner. D to D now. Sievertson with some space. Puts one on. A block from Hunt. Well, a good block there. He hustles after it, but that's going to roll all the way to Goff. Goff. Oh, boy. Ha! Ah, ha! Ah, what's happening? Hunt a shot. Another block from Goff. Oh, boy. That, that'll get your, uh, what do you call it, uh, blood pressure or whatever if you're a, if you're a Diplomats fan. A uh, dangerous shorthanded opportunity for Hunt after a nice blocked shot. At any rate, penalty has expired. Back to five aside. Kruger a drive just a bit wide off the end glass. Slett plays this one forward. No, it's bounced off a skate. Bjoralt with time out of his own end. He'll skate it forward. He'll pass to Gilbert. Offensive zone now for the Riptide. A shot there. A big save. Goff rebound loose. Another save as Goff sticks it to the corner. Centering pass there is blocked by a diving Sievertson. Out front, Kiefer tries to work it free. It bounces off someone and back to center ice. Lies ring hustling in, watched by Kruger. Back Sievertson the other direction. Off the boards now for Olsen. Olsen through center. Oh, maybe turned over. Both teams jostling for it at the blue line. 140 still to go here. Period number two. The center, Baumgartner working against Malloy. Malloy able to get it ahead for Kiefer. Could be a two on one. Kiefer in. He's got Steinbach with him. Kiefer a shot and a save from Goff. Puck loose. Kiefer still working it free. Another shot. Goff another save. Not able to get to the third one though. And that's a riptide goal. That's going to restore their two goal advantage. It's now riptide six. Diplomats four. Time of the goal on that one, 118. And, uh, oh boy, my public school math tells me Goff had at least a few saves on that. Uh, nobody can really get control of the rebound, uh, except, of course, for the powder blue jerseys, and they're able to put it in the back of the net. Face off from center here, taken away by, um, uh, excuse me, Petersburg. He centers, bounces over the stick of Steinbach, wheeling back the other way. He's got Floyd with him, could be a two-on-one. Floyd with wheeling, Floyd a drive, oh, hard and over the net. Out of the corner now, Slett tries to work it free. Malloy seeing what he can do to free it up. Down low, Whelan tries to get a shot away, but a diving block from Steinbach keeps that pass from going through. Puck ends up in the net, but the official blown it dead, I believe, for, I believe it was frozen, either under Josh Steinbach or... Either under uh, Steinbach or Neeson. Somebody down there at any rate. Puck worked free out of the corner. Back to center. Kari hustles through neutral ice. Tries to free it up. End up getting a poke away. Uh, enough of a stick on it to redirect it on that anyway. But a easy save for Goff. That'll get us a face off here now to his right. With only 48 seconds left to go here. Period number two. Lies ring a shot from the point, a little bit wide off the end boards. Oaks tracks it down out of the corner, pressured by a couple different riptides. 
Back to center, Whelan now. It could be a three on one. Whelan in, tries to get it across for Floyd. Into the corner it goes, 32 seconds. Puck played around the board. Steinbach races after it. Tries to work it past Oaks, but Oaks able to block it. Right out front, Whelan, puck loose. No one can get a stick on it, 22 seconds. Played out of the zone by Bjorlt. Back to center, here's Steinbach, a two on one the other way. Petersburg catches up to it, 14 seconds. Petersburg looks, he tries to work it towards the net. Taken away though by Quinette. Played forward for Oaks, a two on O the other way. Oaks in, he shoots, a pad save from Neeson, four seconds left. And the puck flung harmlessly back to center. Oh boy folks, that's gonna do it for period number two. Holy cow, we got a uh, third period coming up after this. Stay tuned, it's FMA Hockey. All uh, right, folks, get settled in. This is it. This is third period. Diplomats versus Riptide. And so far in this one, Riptide six, Diplomats four. But we got a whole 15 minutes of hockey here to go in period number three. A third period in which my vision is starting to fade. I think, uh, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's too much sugar or what. To... Not enough sugar, I'm being told. That's possible. Schuler a drive. That one's off of the skate of Sievertson into the corner. Played back around the other way. Baumgartner works at the center. Kruger pulls it down after a bounce. Back for Baumgartner. He hustles in. Watched by Kiefer out of the corner. Baumgartner gets one right on net somehow out of the corner. Played back to center. And the Diplomats will set up again. Kruger... Gains the offensive line, swatted back to center though by Kiefer. Now Petersburg into the offensive end, working against Baumgartner out of the corner here. Petersburg spinning, trying to work this one free. Now a centering pass, Malloy able to step up to this one, a drive and right into the midsection of netminder Rob Goff for a whistle. Faceoff coming up here, 13.54 still to go here, period number three. This up is away. Bureault from the point. Taken away by Whelan, though. Through center. Tries to find Slett on the far wing. Could be a foot race here. Out of the corner. Slett's got it. A bit of time to set up. Getting to Whelan in the slot, but off a couple skates. Back to center we go. Here's the riptide. Gilbert on the near wing. Working his way in. Get the shot on net. Off the pad. I go off and he'll get a whistle on that one. Boy, that looks like one of those uh, uh, shot passes. I don't, know what, I don't know what the proper, correct hockey term is, but it's where you get that uh, 
shot that is actually a bank thing off. You bank it off the goalie's pads to your other guy that's coming in. Um, and sometimes you can create an opportunity there after a rebound. Here is Slet in working against Bjoralt. Puck into the end boards. Stepping into support Steinbach later on the boards. Gilbert's trying to get it out. Held in by Whelan though. Back to the blue line and Steinbach will get it away to center. Tracked down by Wheeland. Sent back the other way. Ari not quite able to hold the zone. The diplomats will control. They'll, however, give it right back to the Riptide. Back to center. Oaks and Kiefer working to free it up. Steinbach comes away with it. Steinbach marching in, weaving, spinning. He gets a shot away, and Goff almost uh, fooled by that a little bit. That Josh Steinbach can be a crafty shooter, and uh, Goff able to hang with it for the save. Faceoff coming up here now with 12.46 still to go. Period number three. Riptide with the two-goal advantage. Faceoff is away. Kiefer from the point. Kiefer spins. Watched by Baumgartner. Delays. Spins away from pressure. To the point. Tries to get it for Leisring. Pass off his skates. He'll shovel it back down below the end red line. Now ahead for Kruger. Marcus Kruger looks to get it out of the zone. Ahead for Floyd. Off his skate and tipped back out by Kiefer. Into the offensive end. Here go the Riptide. Cross ice pass broken up. Shoveling one just a bit wide is Schuler. Almost an opportunity there on the back end. Rink wide for Kruger. Schuler breaks it up, but Kruger able to hang with it and poke it back to center. Recovered by Petersburg. He'll send that one in deep. Oh boy, it's like I can feel my teeth vibrating. Oh, man. 11.42 still to go here. Period uh, number three. Back to center. Hunt recovers into the offensive end for the riptide. Hunt's getting it all the way across. Sievertson here. Intercepts the pass. Works it free out of the corner. Marty Sievertson from his knees tries to clear. He gets it ahead to Floyd at least. A good effort there from Sievertson. It's doinked off the boards and back out. Malloy plays it rink wide. Now Hunt into the offensive end for the Riptide. Gilbert's driving the net. A blocker save there by Goff. Keeps that out to the point. Bjorl to drive and Goff sees that one all the way. He'll get that right in the big old glove for a whistle. Faceoff coming up here with 11.02 in period number three. Faceoff is away. Oak steps in the support. He comes away with this one. Setting up out of the corner. Pressured by Gilbert. Works it ahead for Wheeland. Now through center. Wheeland working around one defender. Two back yet. He puts a shot on. Rebound loose out front. Oh, and sticks are tied up. No diplomat can get to it. Good defensive work there by the Riptide. Kari now pestered by Wheeland. Back to center. Keeper steps up. Keeper in. Kari calling for a pass. Oh, and just out of his reach. Good play there by Kari. Boy, it sure helps a lot to be uh, vocal on your on the ice. Help your teammates know where you're at, when you're open, where to be. All those kinds of communication things. Kari plays it off the boards and around. Gilbert from below the end red line. Taken away, though, by the Diplomats. Oaks lasers a pass for Slet. He's able to knock it down and hang with it. Gets one on net. A save from... Neeson, and he'll put a glove on that to get us a whistle. Faceoff coming up this time out of the Riptide end. 10.03 remaining on the clock, period number three. Faceoff is away. Hooked back to center, and that'll be an icing, it looks like it will. Gilbert looks like he's got that expression that is like that, that aw, oh, dang it, expression. Well, face off back to the riptide end, and a chance to talk about Urban Toad Media. From business cards to billboards, headshots, commercial, and product photography, 
Urban Toad Media produces quality marketing materials that reflect the high standards of your business. Make a statement with professional graphic design and photography from Urban Toad Media. Visit UrbanToadMedia.com. Puck loose on the far side of the net. Diplomats swinging away at it to try and get it to go, but the Riptide will at least uh, hold the zone. Back to the offensive end for the Riptide. Puck taken away here by Oaks, pressured by Schuler. He'll force it back to center. A stick lift from Malloy is able to break that one up. He'll float it rink wide for Gilbert. Gilbert has to swat it down out of midair. Looking for Malloy on the back door. It's gloved down by the Diplomats, though. Played back to center, and that one's going to go tipped, says the official. Might not have enough steam for icing anyway. Or I guess it would have, but it's tipped anyway, so forget I said anything. 9.04 still to go here as the Riptide set up out of their own end. Slet chases this one down. Schuler supports and gets it rink wide for Malloy. Now Petersburg off the near wing. Petersburg a drive, but another save from Goff, and that whistle gets us a face off this time out of the Diplomats zone. 8.51 still to go here, period at number three. Face off is away. Bjoralt fires. It's blocked though by Slet. Haas trying to free it up and almost, oh boy. That's uh, good to have fast reflexes if you're not going to play with a full cage. You certainly hate to take a puck to the uh, the old uh, mouth area. I don't know a heck of a lot about stuff, but I know uh, a wire mesh cage that will protect your face costs something like 20 to 40. US dollars and I know uh, dental work to fix teeth will cost something like two and a half to five grand so if you're pricing out options the wire mesh cage significantly cheaper than new teeth do with do with that what you will under eight minutes to go period number three the riptide back into the offensive end slung back the other way lies ring has to uh, go back to get this one. Played up the boards. Intercepted by Whelan. He floats it forward for Slet. Back across. Knocked down, though. Everybody's got it tangled up in their feet here. No one able to come away with it cleanly. Baumgartner pinches from the point. Whelan will play that one down low and go off for a change. God, Whelan looks tired so far in this one. Here's a drive from Siebertson. Puck loose. Olsen plays it around. Slet from behind the goal line. Taken away now by the Riptide. Petersburg rink wide for Kari. Kari with speed through center into the offensive end. Kari a drive and a blocker save from Goff. That one bounces back free. Floyd will play it around the boards. Kari probably gets to this one. He does. Kari rink wide. Schuler, excuse me, Petersburg. Another shot but a save from Goff. Now Kari works the fuck down low. Baumgartner able to get to it first. Max sets up here out of his own end. Max, Baumgartner through center. Kari trying to free up the puck, but Baumgartner working below the goal line here. Oh boy, some extracurricular pushing and shovings in front of the net. I think they're going to take both of them, rightly so. And I think they saw the official, the signal from the official, five on five. So penalties each aside, one, two for the Riptides, Tyler Akari, one to the Diplomats, James Floyd. They'll skate five aside while they sit in the box and think about what they did without any cupcakes. Go to the box and think about what you did without dessert. Time of the penalty, 6.32. And a save from Goff there. Gets us a face-off out of the Diplomats zone. Face-off is away. Malloy with a shot right off the draw, but another save from Goff. So we'll do it again. Face-off now to his right. 6.29 still to go in period three. 
Kruger steps in to support, gets it rink wide nicely for Haas. Haas with some speed through center, waits for some support. Malloy tracks this one down out of the corner, right out front looking for Haas, but nothing doing there. That one jumps over Whelan's stick at the blue line. Boy, Whelan looks like maybe he didn't sleep well or something last night, or uh, probably didn't have a balanced meal or something. Um, I know how important that food pyramid, or I guess it's my plate now or whatever is, but boy, Whelan just looks tired out there. 5.56 still to go in the period. Played up the boards. Haas has this one here to center. Kruger into the offensive end. That one bounces off his stick, kicked away by Ring, and now Kiefer working up ice into the offensive end. Oaks able to free one up here. Back to center, no, maybe taken away. Gilbert trying to force it free. Quinnett steps into support. Here's Troy Quinnett now into the offensive end. Out of the corner, Quinnett trying to get it towards the net. Kiefer able to break that one up to the point. Oaks with some space, he puts a shot on. Oh, and it's just a bit wide. Quinnett will chase it down off the far wall. 5.15 still to go in the period. Four seconds left on the penalties. So once those two penalties are expired at the next stoppage, those those uh, rehabilitated offenders will get to come back on the ice. So both teams opting for what looks to be full line changes. If my ability to keep track of 10 skaters is as good as I hope it is. 5.03 still to go in the period. This one launched all the way down, and that will be an icing call as Siebertson is first to get it out of the corner for the diplomats. That will take us all the way back down to the riptide end. This up is away. Malloy controls. He thinks about icing it. He thinks better of it. No, he does ice it. And that'll be another icing on the Riptide. 450 still to go here, period number three. That is an interesting strategy. I guess you could, could just ice the puck every time and slowly take two seconds off the clock. What a horrible thing that would be. Four forty-four still to go here. Period number three as we set up for a face-off to the right of netminder Chris Neeson. Hunt able to play the center for Kari. Kari looks for support. Drops for Hunt. Siebertson able to break up a centering pass. Back to center we go, though. James Floyd comes away with this one. A bit of a collision here, and we'll get a penalty on the riptide. I think it'll be a leg-related penalty. I don't know what you'd call that. A kneeing, tripping. Either way, golf to the bench. Extra attacker on. Kari able to get a stick on this one, and... Uh, Give us a whistle as we get set for the Diplomats power play. It'll be Petersburg to the box. I'll listen for a call from the officials. I'm not sure if it, uh, if it was kneeing or checking, something like that. It didn't look in any way intentional, at least when I watched it in real time it looked like two guys kind of going for the same area of ice going after the puck and just i didn't learn a lot from physics class but i think it's two things can't occupy the same space and time same space at the same time i don't know something to that effect at any rate it's the diplomats on the power play Let's see if they can't take advantage of the extra skater 352 still to go in period three that one sent all the way down kruger's gonna beat it out he gets a shot on oh boy i don't know that neeson was exactly ready for that one uh he does make the save and uh keep his team with the two goal advantage but good effort there from kruger to hustle all the way down uh beat out the icing and able to get a shot away um i don't know if uh at any rate face off coming up here 104 still to go on that penalty 
Whelan wins the draw to the point. A shot from Quinette is gloved down there. Big save by Neeson. So we'll do it again. One minute exactly left on the penalty. 3.40 in the period. Both teams set for the draw. Gilbert pokes this one away. Quinette another shot. This one tipped out front. Ends up off the end glass. Schuler tries to get it out. Oaks tries to pinch, but that one does roll all the way down. That'll uh, run some time off the clock. Diplomats have to set up here. Power play halfway over. Only 45 seconds left. Ugh. Hiccups now from something. I don't know what. Riptide recover. They send it all the way down again. That'll eat up a bit more time on the penalty. 28 seconds left, in fact. Slet off the near wing into the offensive zone. Weaving. Slet in. Driving the net. Getting a backhander away, but a save by Neeson. Keeps that out of the back of the net. Now Haas down low. Sets up here. Plays to the point. Oaks with some space. It's a shot on, looking for Wheeland on the back door. Boy, if he was uh, awake, he might have had the tip in on the back door. But again, Wheeland just looking sluggish out there. Shot on, another save by Nice, and that one rolls away to the corner. Out of the box is Petersburg. He says, I'll pick that up and take it the other way. Into the offensive end, working against Oaks, and Oaks able to cut down the angle. Turnover right out in front, and Steinbach a shot, pad save Goff. Puck uh, to the far boards. Held in at the blue line by Petersburg. Out of the corner, Malloy back for Petersburg, but just off the heel of his stick, it goes to center. 2.12 still to go in the period. That one's rifled in by Kari. Baumgartner sets up now. They'll play ahead for Whelan. Whelan surveys. Hustling into the offensive end. Tangling up a bit with Kari. Up comes free. Petersburg has it here now from behind his own net. Sets up here, gets it off for Steinbach. Baumgartner up the boards and around. Played back in and around, but will go for an icing, so that'll take the face off back down to the riptide end. One thirty-five still to go in the period. I'm keeping an eye here on Rob Goff, because you know, you want to know if he leaves early for the extra attacker or if perhaps he wants to go to the bench for a cupcake. I think I could, I think I have enough cord on this headset that I got to get down there to Rob Goff to get to get him a cupcake. And I confidence that he could catch it with the blocker probably if I had to throw it. Because yeah, I guess I only got, it's actually a pretty sizable cord. It's probably six feet long, maybe this cord. So I got. I have uh, six feet of cupcake delivery. So if you're listening in on the YouTube live stream and you need a cupcake and you're within six feet of me, send me a message on the chat and I'll, I will run a cupcake over to you personally. Timeout called here by the Riptide. They're talking some strategy there on the bench. The diplomats have elected to pull Rob Goff so they will skate with the empty net and the extra attacker. We'll see if they can't take advantage of it here. Down by two, 135 still to go in the period. Crazier things have happened. Both teams set for the draw. It'll be Floyd and Gilbert. One by Floyd to the point. Connect puts a shot on, tipped out front. Floyd tries to get this one towards the net. Whelan supporting here. It's knocked back to center. Both teams tangling up for it. Kruger supporting. Olsen recovers this one out of his own end. 116 to go. Ooh, turned over for Kari. A deflection maybe not that uh, off track of going in the empty net. Kruger rink wide for... Oaks spun and tipped in. Floyd tries to get a handle on it. It's played off the boards. Kruger doing everything he can. Loses a stick in the process. And uh, that'll go all the way down. And that'll be an icing. So that'll take us back to the riptide end. With 54 seconds still on the clock. Empty net for the Diplomats. They need two. Time ticking away in this one. See if they can't... Uh, 
materialize one here early and then uh, oh boy you'd be within one so that's a uh, face off away to the point oaks now a drive through traffic saved by nice and puck loose cleared to the blue line not out oaks another drive off the back door kruger slet a shot it bounces off a shin pad recovered down low by floyd that one sent the length of the ice and just a bit wide you can hear all the groans from the Riptide bench there of the oh and the come ons and the So we get set for a face off. Some amount of time left in the third period. Malloy played off the boards. Oaks now puts a shot on, knocked down by Neeson, swatted out to center by Malloy. Cornette settles it down, 26 seconds. Rifled in by Cornette and gloved down by Neeson. He'll play it out to run more time off. A clearing attempt by Malloy. It's, uh, I think, Tyler Carey right in the tummy. That can be rough, especially if you're fully loaded with cupcakes. 11 seconds left and the diplomats are just a bit early. It'll be an offside. So offside is the call. That'll take the face off. Back to center ice, nine seconds remaining. <laughs> Floyd, uh, Floyd, I think, caught that one and uh, tossed it back. Uh, a neat little move, I guess, but uh, not a productive move. Uh, I think if you did, I don't know how the official wouldn't see that, being as he's the guy that just dropped the puck. And if you did want to get some kind of, you know, sneaky advantage or something, uh, wouldn't you want to throw it in the direction of the net you're trying to scoring on instead of towards your own net? I don't know. I'm not uh, much of a strategist. Keeper recovers. Six seconds left. He'll play it off the glass. Back to center. Kruger taps it forward. And that's going to do it, folks. Your final in game number one. It's Riptide 6, Diplomats 4. Don't go anywhere, folks, though. We got game number two coming up right after this. It features the Guardians taking on a very sugar-high Secrets team. Stay tuned for that one. That one's coming up in just a few on the live stream. Uh, until then, we'll uh, see you then. Uh, uh, love you. Bye.